Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Being a Delta Iota Kappa. We are here. It looks like we're in class somewhere. I can't remember what class Kathy teaches, if I'm being honest with you, but we were here. And it uh, looks like we're hanging out, hanging out at the table. Jonathan's looking at the phone. I think he uh, got a message from Jill. So we'll check that out. And then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and jump into the game and have some fun. Hey! Did you try Swiper yet? Uh, yeah, I checked it out a bit. It's a good one, right? Uh, yeah, you know what? Oh, yeah, that's right. Found out that Kathy is his Swiper. Uh, don't tell anyone this, but I'm pretty sure that Kathy is using the app, too. For real? Yeah, I was uh, swiping away when I saw a profile of someone that looked a lot like her. But she wore a mask in her pictures, and most of her pictures were pretty sexual. Oh, please tell me you swiped up on her. Of course I did. I wanted to know if it was her. And even if it wasn't her, she was still hot. Oh, I'm glad to see that you're taking my advice to heart. It's just like when you're shopping for stuff. It never hurts to look around before you decide. Oh, could it really be her? Hmm... Some of those shots were pretty hot. She doesn't seem like the type of woman to do something like that. Dude, she's swiping up and down right now. Oh, it's got to be her. Yeah, I agree with that. I think you're right, dude. Oh, yeah. Is it her? Mm, it can't be her, though. No, no, no. It's her. It's, it's definitely her. Yeah. Jonathan. Uh, yes. Focus and do your exercises, please. Oh, yeah, sorry, of course. Ooh, it's test taking time. I, uh, I hate these. <laughs> I hate tests. Let's just get through this real quick. 100? Oh, 80%. Ooh. I got, I got no, no dick score. Ass man. Yeah. I feel pretty uncomfortable. With what? Both my sister and Josie are sitting over there constantly looking over at you. I feel like I'm caught in the middle of this. And I love you, dude, but I love my sister more. And Josie's actually great, too. Hey, man, I'm not stopping you. Go to them if you're uncomfortable being with me. But I'm not ready to talk to them. No, I'm not going to them. Is there something I can do for you to help you with this? I could tell you how they met and some stuff about the relationship. I mean, the only thing I want right now is some time to think about it for myself, okay? Oh, gotcha. Can we leave? It's the time to get yelled at again. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know about you, ass man, but I'm getting freaking sick of this class. This class is like a band-aid on my balls. And I keep ripping it off only to find it still there again the next day. It's the last time I'll take my sister's advice for something like this. Jonathan, can we talk, please? Oh, please leave me alone, Maya. Is five minutes too much to ask for? Oh, I said leave me alone. Okay, everyone. Let's get down and dirty and discuss feminism. Yay. I know that many of you have waited for this subject matter, so let's not waste any time. I want to hear your passionate thoughts and views on why feminism is needed in this world. Everyone find a partner. Wait. Oh, she just... She, Jonathan just took off. Hey, you, let's partner up. Huh? Uh, oh, okay. Go, talk to me. What? I know how these things go by now. Tell me about you and your friggin' problems. Let's do it. What's your name? Karen. That's it? Okay, let's get through this. Let's get through all this stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to be here. Jonathan doesn't want to be here, and Derek doesn't want to be here. So let's go. Let's get through it. 
You can't keep avoiding me like this. Please, you have to listen. Oh, whoa, well, not right now. I'm listening to, uh, I think, her, uh, Karen Rebecca Johnson. She's so nice, and she doesn't like, um, she doesn't like, uh, conflicts her dogs. And she got her first hearing aid when she was seven years old. All right. Is this your plan, to avoid me? You hurt me, Maya. I'm tired of all the lies and secrets. Um, I... Not now, Karen. We could talk about your fear of, um... Cows later, okay? And also, about how you want to be a, a, a librarian. And, you know, when you graduate, even though someone in your life wanted you to be a veterinarian and that person was your mom, okay? Is this what you talk about during class? Maybe. I'm sorry I hurt you. I never meant to do that. Hmm. Can you please just forgive me? Can you please just give me one final chance, please? I don't want it to end like this. Oh, that girl's about to go away. Don't you go anywhere, Karen. You're uh, 19 years and two months old. You'll survive some discomfort. You've been at BNR for, uh, gee, uh, geez, how long has she been here? I'm gonna, uh, how long has she been here? How long has she been here? She's 19. She's been here a year, probably. A year now, so you know what college is like, and we're not screaming at you. Our noise level is way below that of a library, which is 44 decibels. This will be over soon, and you can go back to study um, Latin and Latin and uh, history and Latin. I think it was right. Yeah, that's it. Oh look, I scored a ninety percent. Pretty good. I didn't cheat either. I learned everything about old Karen here. Wow, you know, the things I told you, I wasn't going to tell anyone, ever. And I really was going to tell you. Maybe that doesn't mean anything to you. But for me, it means a lot. I'll still be here for you, if you let me. Please. Just don't forget that. Three years ago, Stephen came home drunk on a Saturday night. He had been out celebrating after yet again selling stocks from a very successful trade, as if we needed the money. He fumbled with the keys in the lock, and when he finally managed to open the door, I was almost by it to unlock it for him. He smiled a big, goofy smile and gave me a slobbery kiss. I could taste that he had been indulging himself with his favorite scotch. That smoky flavor can't be mistaken for anything else. He grabbed my ass and walked with me toward the bedroom. A drunk man isn't a turn-on for a woman, especially when you're sober. But I didn't want his victorious day to end in disappointment, so I didn't resist him. He fumbled with the buttons on my blouse. They got unbuttoned, but only due to force. That blouse was ruined in the process. He got on top of me and started to kiss my neck, and then he whispered into my ear, Kathy, oh, Kathy, that was the first time I saw the signs. Now, Kathy is a dear friend of mine. We've been teaching here at BNR for nearly 10 years together. We spend a lot of time in each other's company during our free time as well. We're going to the gym, eating dinner, shopping, and venting to each other. It was like a dagger straight to my back, so deep that it plunged all the way and pierced my heart. As he continued to kiss my neck, I couldn't keep the tears from falling. I never dared to confront him about it, nor Kathy. I don't want or need to know if there was some truth behind those drunken words. Because it didn't matter. The love for my husband had already started fading for me that night. I didn't want that to happen for Kathy, too. Why are you telling me this? 
Because looking at you sitting there like this. It's the same way I sat the night he whispered Kathy's name into my ear. All night, while he snored and slept like a drunken teenager, I, I just sat like that. I couldn't recognize that feeling of betrayal from anywhere. What did she do? Maya, correct? She kept things from me. Secrets that would have changed a lot if she had told me sooner. I see. Clear your head before you make your decision. What was your decision? My decision was to ignore it for the sake of our family. The first time he cheated, I had just had a hunch. But that hunch hurt like hell. The second time, I found proof, but I remained silent. And after the third time, even if you choose apathy, rage doesn't escape you. It just builds up. <laughs> Look at me confiding in you right now. It feels nice. You and I already have one secret to keep. I'm not going to make a move on her in this situation. It doesn't sound appropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and leave. Well, thank you for telling me. I promise that it'll stay with me. All right. Where are we at now? Oh, I think we're going to meet Jill. Uh, we're going to go on our date with Jill. So where is she at? Oh, man. I don't think I'm in the mood for this. Yeah, he seemed pretty down. Now he's going on a date. Where is she? Jonathan, over here. Wow. Hi. Say hi. Let's compliment her. What a nice outfit. Oh, thanks. I didn't want to spoil the surprise of what you're doing. But I guess it's pretty obvious now, huh? Yep. Looks like we're going to be playing some tennis. It's been a long time since I played tennis. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I still got it. Oh, then we'll have to find out today. After you. Hey, what happened? Oh, nothing. What do you mean? Hmm, call it intuition, but you seem sad. I don't think it's a good thing to talk about this during our first date. This is just not fair to you. Maybe I should have called this off. I'm not really feeling like myself today. Everyone has bad days. Now that I know you're pro now that I know you're processing something, I'll try harder to cheer you up. I don't know. I tend to sulk for a while. Uh, what are you doing? A silly face. Is it working? Uh, I'll give her a positive response. She's trying. Maybe a little. Maybe it's working a little bit. Great. That's a start. Listen, I bet that you'll feel so much better if you just tell me why you're sad. Then we can move past it. Well, I don't know if you want to hear this, really. Uh, I wouldn't want to hear it if our roles were reversed. If it's something that big, I think it's better telling me now than waiting for it to drop like a bomb later. Okay. I've kind of been dating multiple girls lately. Two of them lied to me pretty big time, and I recently found out about it. Right now, I feel pretty hurt and irritated in general. And... I know you probably don't want to hear that I'm dating others, but I'm so unsure about so many things right now. I'm unsure about myself. Oh, it's not a shock to hear that you're dating others. Single people date, and you're a cute guy. It's different from being in a relationship and seeing others. That's just despicable. I'll admit, it's not the best thing to hear for a girl that there's competition and all. If the guy is worth the time, there's bound to be jealousy involved. But it's not dropping a bomb, unless there's more to your story. Uh, one of the girls I've been dating is Josie. Now see, I could sense that you were a bit off in the library. So that's why. She seems like a really sweet girl. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Was that all you needed to get off your chest? Yeah, for now. Good. I think we should have our date now, and you leave all those feelings you feel at the moment in this spot. 
when we're done, you can come back here and get them if you feel that you need them. Huh, that sounds weird, but I'll try that. Great, let's go have fun. Jill, thanks for listening. Okay, there we go. We're on the court. Let's play some tennis. All right, I'm a bit rusty, though, when it comes to the rules. I know how tennis works. We're not going to go through the rules. Let's just get to the game. Let's get to the game. Okay. Basically, I just got to make sure I hit the ones that say hit. Too easy. We're going to do this. I'm going to play one. That way, we're not here all day watching me play tennis. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Don't worry, Joe. All right, let's play one set. I think that's enough for a beginner. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. I almost missed that. Here we go. Hip. Oh, yeah, that's a good hit. Come on. Boom. Gotcha. Where is that? Oh, shoot. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay, that's a win right there. Oh, so close. Wow, you're really good. That was definitely not a beginner I just played. Oh, thanks. But I really had to work for it. I'm impressed. Phew. Oh, man, you're exhausted too, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm drained. Do you play often? Once in a while. I like variation in my exercise. I usually rotate, I usually rotate between tennis, running, gym, and yoga. How about you? You practice martial arts, right? Yeah, but I practice on my own. I never went to a real class or anything. Aside from that, I like running and exercising outdoors. You really do like to teach yourself things, both physical training and music. I haven't had another option, really. Right. Let's freshen up with this shower before we leave. All right, showers are over. Here we are, just chilling. Uh, looks like I had a park bench or something. Tell me more about yourself. I feel like I don't have the complete picture of you. Oh, uh, well, what do you want to know? Do you have any siblings? No, just me and my dad. I don't have any other close relatives either. Any pets? Nope, but I always wanted a cat or a dog. Oh, I love dogs. I never had one, but several friends of mine did. They used to let me pet them and walk them. Now, what about your family? Is it a big one? No, it's not big. It's just me and my mom and dad. I had an older sister, but she passed away when I was young. Oh, I'm sorry. And I know saying I'm sorry doesn't do anything for you. I don't choose to talk about her much. I have my memories and mementos of her. That's what I need. She gives me strength daily, and thinking about her these days only makes me happy and motivated. No, I'm glad to hear that. I do have a fair share of relatives, but we aren't that close, and I don't consider them family. I'd say it's for appearances only. Appearances? Is that important to your family? Well, we do have our eyes on us, being who we are. Um, and who are you? I'm sorry, but I have no clue. Wait, you don't? No, should I? Oh, this is too good to be true. Okay, she must be really, like, a, a really big deal, or her family's a really big deal, because now she knows that he is not interested in her for who she is. Like, you know, her, her family's clout. He's actually interested in her for her. So that's, that's a good thing here. That's a good thing. No, never mind. It's nothing important. Okay, all right. She's going to keep it a secret. Oh, <laughs> Are you sure? It sounds like it is. How do I explain this? None of the guys who approach me even seem genuine. It's tough knowing that their intentions are because of my family. With you, it feels like it could be different. Different? Yes, but in a good way. You get to know me for me and not for everything around me. I don't think I would treat you any differently if you told me who you are. Do you? I don't know. But can we keep it this way for now? If it makes you feel better, it's fine by me. <laughs> Great. I have piano practice soon. I should get going. 
All right. Now she just said that there's these unspoken or there's these, there's these rules for dating and date one, you should end in a kiss. So I'm going to break those rules that she thinks they have. I'm just going to say goodbye. I'm not going to go in for a kiss because I, I, she's a nice, she's a nice girl. And, uh, I don't want to take advantage of that. So I'm just going to say goodbye. See you later, Jill. Bye. Oh, that was a very good date. That was a very good date indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And I think on that note, we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate it. If you like the video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.